Hey guys, welcome to Rapid Fire Rundown. Today, I want to discuss the Leupold Delta Point Pro. This is going to be a pretty quick review. I don't actually have this optic anymore, which you could consider foreshadowing. Um, there are some products that I no longer actually own that I do want to get my opinions on. Uh, some of those include the Delta Point Pro, the ACOG, which I absolutely love, the Holosun 407K, if I remember correctly, um, Dan Weston Specialist, which I will definitely be having a video on. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be discussing that Delta Point Pro Optic that I do have some time on and explaining why I really don't care for the optic whatsoever. Um, in the background, I'll just have some pictures and any videos I may have of that optic. All right, so starting out, I wanted to discuss my history with the optic. So I purchased a SIG P226 as one of my first handguns. It was actually my first handgun that I ever purchased through like an FFL outside of like friends and family. Um, and after about a year or two of using that with irons, and I will have a P226 review in the near future, um, I bought their SIG Elite slide or whatever it's called. I'll, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen with all the crazy window cuts and a red dot uh, mount. Um, I purchased a Delta Point Pro because that was the optic that goes like natively on that slide. Um, Sig really likes the Delta Point Pro. The Delta Point Pro, if I remember correctly, was probably the only optic you could put on like the P320 or uh, it was designed for like the M17 and M18 as well, or at least their optic cuts accommodated the Delta Point Pro. Sig's one of the only people that I really feel like still pushed the Delta Point Pro in the past couple of years, whereas most people stayed away or most people moved to different optics, um, like the RMR cut. But anyway, I purchased this slide and I purchased my Delta Point Pro. Uh, funny enough, that slide came in. And uh, I actually had to send it back because the threads, I think, were locked on that plate that covers the red dot mount or one of the screws was locked. I had to send it back. So that was a hassle. And I had this Delta Point Pro for a very long time just sitting in my room waiting to be used. Um, the optic looked great, right? At that time, um, I didn't have any complaints with it. Um, the a, a common argument or a common comparison is going to be like an RMR and the Delta Point Pro optic, right? Um, some pros on paper of the Delta Point is it is significantly larger, it has better glass, um, and you don't need to remove the entire optic to change the battery, right? Those are pretty convincing. Now, the RMR, the pros of that are it's going to be much more durable, who really cares about the size of the glass and, well, I guess durability once again. It's smaller, I guess, so it's not going to maybe print as much. Anyway, um, I was really excited to use this Delta Point Pro. Eventually, my slide came back. I threw the Delta Point Pro on, on my P226, and I have pictures of it or videos of it. Um, I brought it to the range. I got it zeroed, and the initial zeroing process was a headache, to put it lightly. Um, I distinctly remember uh, having a very hard time um, at the range because the battery was immediately prone to turning off like midway through my shooting. Um, and I figured I either like set it up incorrectly or I think I changed the batteries. Anyway, the optic kept kept losing battery. Um, I replaced the batteries when I came home later that day after zeroing and I went back to the range I think a week later and I found that it was completely off target once again, right? So it must have drifted or it must have lost its zero somehow. Um, this was on my concealed carry weapon, by the way. That's a problem. Or at least um, I had it on my concealed carry weapon, but of course I had backup iron sights. Anyway, uh, I contacted SIG customer service and they took the optic back. I told them about the battery issue that I didn't think it was me, but also that it didn't hold zero. I got the optic back and they said that everything did check out uh, and there was no issue with the optic and then it must be on my end. Um, anyway, I brought it back to the range and I once again had a wandering zero. I remember zeroing the optic and then maybe an hour or two later, uh, shooting at steel, 
and just not being able to make any hits whatsoever at like 20 yards, which is just not like me. It's not a hard shot at all. Um, I was completely off target and it just wouldn't retain zero whatsoever. Um, from there, I think I pulled the optic off my pistol and I actually transitioned it onto my MCX. Um, I think I remember uh, T-Rex Arms, they made like an offset video uh, on, on offset dots and optics and I thought that was the coolest thing ever so I threw it on my rifle just to test I bought a Arasaka and a T-Rex Arms offset and I put the Delta Point Pro on that rifle I went to the range the following week I zeroed it and I think it actually held zero this time um, I didn't have any battery issues I didn't have any zero issues and it actually lived on that MCX for a little while um, at least a couple months. I don't think I used my rifle that much during that time. Um, but I went back to the range eventually. And I distinctly remember doing a... It was snowing outside, doing like a, a weather test, putting my rifle in snow. And I remember that contact with the snow, for whatever reason, actually turned off this Delta Point Pro. Right? So whether or not there was a it wasn't properly sealed and water was getting into that battery compartment i'm not sure um but inclement weather actually turned off my red dot optic now i also remember um taking the because the battery is top load i took the battery out of the optic and uh, i remember seeing a small amount of of water right not not flooding that compartment but just a little bit of moisture um, this probably explains the battery issues it was having, but I've never had these issues with any other red dot optic, so I didn't anticipate it on this Delta Point Pro, as it was something that was being, um, sold to, like, law enforcement. It was something that was in, like, our, uh, for, for the P320 line of pistols, it was actually the, the optic that was assigned with those handguns, um, the one in the MHS program as well. Um. One other thing I would like to mention, actually, is uh, with that Arasaka and the T-Rex arms mount, um, I also do distinctly remember uh, having an extremely hard time zeroing it. Uh, I noticed that, for whatever reason, I had to absolutely max out the elevation on the optic, and I think I was actually still under the optic. So, for whatever reason, my Delta Point Pro, um, I had to... Uh, remount multiple times on that mount and uh, complete, almost completely max out the windage and elevation which I would consider a flaw with the optic uh, I'm not sure exactly why that happened um, but after the Delta Point Pro I put on a 407k on that offset mount on my MCX and I never had that issue so I have to chalk that up to the Delta Point Pro being um, designed poorly Anyway, uh, I actually got rid of that Delta Point Pro probably last year. I've sold it for an absolutely crazy deal on eBay just to get it away from me. And since then, I've basically completely moved to Trishicon with their RMR series. Um, I just value reliability a lot more than anything else. Window size uh, can be beneficial. I'm not going to say there isn't a need or a want for a larger window size. But you need to understand that when you are shooting with a red dot, you're shooting with both eyes open anyway. So the window size argument, uh, I can make an argument that it doesn't technically do anything, but that's completely up to you. Um, anyway, this is my negative experience I had with the Delta Point Pro. That's not to say that if you have one and you love it, it's been working perfectly, that it's a bad optic. I'm just telling you that mine would not return, uh, would not, would not stay zeroed. Um, the battery had an issue, the battery life is abysmal on the optic, and then of course it's going to be significantly less um, drop resistant than something like a RMR, right? Um, more videos to come, this was a really quick one, I just wanted to get my thoughts on it so I can look back on this and remember why I hated the Delta Point Pro if I ever try to move back to it. Um, thank you very much for tuning into this video, uh, Alex with Rapid Fire Rundown. Um, please like and comment if you have anything you want to say. Have a good one.